We have the power of this niche. Welcome to a, another um, discussion video. But this is not going to be your normal, typical discussion video. Tonight's video is going to be about all the new stuff. And if you guys have been keeping up to date, I've been buying stuff. I'm sure you guys can guess what it all is. It's a lot of stuff. Well, not really, but um, I'm very much looking forward to sharing these guys with all with you guys because, I mean, you know, you 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 guys know how much I'm into Pichu nowadays, and I got a little little something. So I put the stuff next to the chair, which would be to your right, but to me, it's to my left. It's literally directly in front of me. I moved them away. So you guys couldn't see them. But I think I'm going to be going one by one. Um, I guess I could start with the most awkward one that I got today. Um, and that would be one of my Jack specific figures. Once I'm done with, with them, I'll just put them up here. So this is my Jack specific figure of Puzzle. I don't know how well you can see. I'm blocking this part because there's an absolutely inappropriate thing that I'm not going to mention. Um, but, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, I got this one from Cincinnati. All things we all know from Ohio. Ohio is creepy. Um, but I ended up ordering another one. I didn't tell anybody. The right one. Or the correct one. But, yeah, um... It looks great, except pardon the front part. I'm so sorry about this. This is how it came. I did not do this. Um, and when I opened up the package uh, from my and my sister grabbed the mail, this is unfortunately how it looks. So I didn't do this either. The person did it as a joke or the people working at the place put this together incorrectly because that is a possibility. I actually have seen one where a Shadow Jack specific figure is completely falling apart. And somebody mentions, you know, about, hey, where can I fix this? And you would have to contact the place. But I did get Puzzle. Um, it is used. All these items are used items, but all of them, I think, are in still in great shape. The only thing that I can make this less awkward is if I turn the head and the puzzle. Oh my god. <laughs> I just. Okay, so I ordered a second one for no reason. Problem fixed. All I had to do was turn the head around because the arms are supposed to be facing backwards. So now I'm going to have two puzzles. Uh... Ah, that burns. Um, I just absolutely dumped eleven dollars for another one that uh... <laughs> Oh, this is how it's supposed to be. I'm freaking out now if you can't tell. But anyway, yeah, I got puzzle, it looks really cool. Don't worry, I got mine in as well. You can't have the two without one another, so. But yeah, here's my uh, puzzle up more close. It's pretty cool. And speaking of mine in. Oh, I'm saving all that stuff for last. We got mine in right here. Um, For some reason, his ear is bent, and it's on both of them. When I mean both of them, I mean I accidentally did order a second one. And now that I figured out what was up with this, and now I realized it, that the head is supposed to be facing this way and not in the opposite direction, and he has his hands on the back. Um, yeah, this, this is how this one came. This one came correctly. Um, the head faces this way. He's got his arms out. He's got one ear up. It's a little chipped, but like I said, I bought these used, so... They're going to be kind of in rough shape. There's a little bit of it starting to peel off, but there's nothing I can do about that. Then they got the tail. Then you got the ear. I think it's supposed to be like this, but I'm not sure. You guys going to have to let me know. 
Uh, I know I posted this on social media, but I had to delete the post because some clown called me a clown. Um, I try not to say curse words on this channel, so I tried avoiding it. Um, yeah, some guy, com I commented on some NASCAR posts, and um, I called him a clown because of what his state of mind was, and it was completely incorrect of what it was trying to imply. So he went on to one of my posts about my mind and Jack specific figures, and um, he called it me a clown. So I got rid of the post, reposted it. No, no notice yet, but I doubt it because it's it's Pokemon. Like, I'm not sure how many of my followers are into Pokemon. I know there is one, I think, on my other account. Yes, I do have a second account, which I never really ever mentioned that, but. Yeah, here you go. Here's mine. And, um, he has been the cheapest purchase. Of, he was only $8. This one, I this is one of two that I had to pick up at the post office because I put the wrong address. I'm not going to name the address here because that is private information. But yes, I put the wrong address down twice and I put my YouTube channel name in as my first and last name. Don't do that because the orders are going to get confused and they're going to get completely mixed up. So don't do that, please. Alright, alright, time for the fun little stuff. I'm going to do this one first. And then I'm going to do the plushies. Are you surprised that I bought Pichu stuff? <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, there is a little something... I think it's because the little black paint or something is starting to fade away a little bit. But this is a little Pichu minifigure. It's very tiny, as you can see. Um, also, this mine and Jack specific figure I got from a town called Tullahoma, Tennessee. Um, I don't remember where I got this one. Oh, yeah, now I remember. I got this one from Miami. Um, it came with a bunch of stuff, like some candy, some stickers, even a postcard of her saying, thank you for ordering, and she put hearts and then her name, which, I'll be honest, I blush a little bit, but, you know, I'm not dating anybody anytime soon, um, but, and, and there was one little piece of gum, but I ate that before eating dinner, and my parents were confused as to why I did that, but, yeah, this little Pichu minifigure, I don't remember how much it costed, but those those three down there, <laughs> they weren't cheap. Um, I can tell you that. And I've been getting all this money because of all my paychecks from McDonald's, which they've been pretty rotten to me lately because I haven't been able to work because they've been cutting my hours. I haven't worked in like the last two or three weeks because of it. But, yeah, this came with a bunch of stuff. Um... I'm trying to remember how much this costs, but I can't remember. But, yeah, it's a cool little minifigure. I think it's something for, like, a pencil and a pen because there's a bottom part that, like, I don't think it's something to put your finger in. Unless it is. Cool, if that's the case. But I don't know. I just kind of put it on my TV stand. But overall, I think it's pretty cool, and I'm actually pretty glad I got this because it's kind of cute, actually. It's the tiniest object I have, okay, guys? It's smaller than the Jack Specific figure, so um, I'll have to tell my mom and everybody else about my Puzzle Jack Specific figure that it was just because the head was facing the wrong direction. Um, <laughs> I felt awkward and embarrassed uh, about it, so it's a good thing I wasn't recording at the time because I was playing uh, SSBM Super Smash Bros. Melee. But yeah, it's very cool. It is up close. Here, God. and he fell over, of course. Come on, Pichu. Work with me, buddy. We're best buds here. All right, so now I'm going to get to my next one. This is my first ply. I got them for $15 at a community event. Um, this was the first purchase I got. And as like I said, it was $15. Um, <laughs> once I, my mom told me the night before... I was like, please, I gotta have it. <laughs> and alas, I have it, and he's been he's been the first plush I've had on my TV stand. 
I love hugging these little guys. They're so, so cute. But um, I'm actually kind of lucky because after purchasing this one, there was only one left. So kind of got a little lucky. But I'm happy I have them now. Unfortunately, it happened on a day that rained in the morning. So yeah, tree leaves were dropping rain and I was protecting him from it. But even though I'm sure Pichus would love rain because they're electric. They would probably love lightning and thunder. So they probably wouldn't mind the rain. Just to have a little umbrella and they'd be all set. But um, yeah, I kept a hold of him. I never let him go. He's uh, been always... Uh, him and my two other ones have been, uh, they've been keeping me company and they've been holding down my room while I've been gone doing walking for Pokemon Go. Well, speaking of that, I can't really go out because our heat index is like 105 to 110, so yeah, not safe. Not safe for me to go outside, it's too dangerous with the heat and I don't want to take the chance. I did walk, but that's because I had a bottle of water. With ice cubes 32 ounce bottle and i put on sunscreen so i wouldn't get sunburned because you guys can see that i have actually been tanning because of all these walks that's where my darker skin tone has been coming in from is because of the sun but about my little pichu i love him so much and he's so sweet <laughs> i have to give him names he was 15 dollars like i said all right, time for the next one. Time for the most expensive one. This little one <laughs> I got for all the way from Monteclair, California, which is not, which is just east of LA and uh, southeast, uh, uh, northwest of Anaheim, um, or northeast, yeah, northeast of Anaheim. Um, this little guy was 26 bucks. This the, he was super expensive for just as small of a plush as he was. This was very very expensive, but it's well worth it. Um, but I was very happy as usual because I love Pichu. We all know how that is the case nowadays. It does have a tag, and I can't read a single thing on it because it's written in Japanese. I don't speak that language. Um, but if you look carefully right here, this, I believe, I've seen some comments on, uh, Pichu's, uh, a Pichu theme song that I know really well, that this is the proper way of spelling Pichu in Japanese, but in the video, it's Raichu instead, which I'm glad they didn't make that little mistake. <laughs> Don't mind me hugging these little guys. These are so, this is so fun. I should, uh, have them all in my bed then. Sleeping with me and keep me warm and uh, keeping me happy and comfortable during the night so I don't wake up every five minutes or something. But, yeah, he's he's a cute little guy. This one I waited quite a while for. Um, but I think the one that took the longest was the one that I still have to get to. This one took me about a week to pick up. I, this was the other one I had to pick up from the post office because, again, like the mine and Jack specific figure, I put the wrong address. <laughs> Don't worry, the rest of these purchases I made, except this plushie, because, I, like I said, I got it from a community event. Um, all the other ones I put in the right address. But, yeah, um, $26 and something cents. I don't remember how much. Um, but yeah, he's definitely very tiny and he f he's the only one who can actually sit still on my TV stand without falling over. Whenever I play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, of course, it's Pichu. Um, I put them on my bed so they can watch me play because it's kind of getting to a point where it's kind of blocking the screen a little bit. So if you ever catch me recording on my TV upstairs in my room at night, I'm not going to have them on the TV stand. I'm going to have them on my bed behind me or sitting next to me just watching um, while I'm playing. But yeah, he's cute and he uses his little tail. He's so cute. There is one thing. I do not have a female Pichu yet. I'm going to be working on that. There is 
<laughs> Another thing. It's a clothing item, but I'm not going to say what it is until I get it and when that time comes. But there is one Pichu eye clothing item that I really, really want to get, and it looks super cool. But the only problem is, it's expensive. <laughs> and then again, we're talking about Pokemon, and Pichu's very popular. So, you can imagine that it's going to be very expensive. And clothing these days is expensive, no matter what. Whether it's shoes, sweaters, sweats, socks, underwear, t-shirts... Um, boots, um, backpacks, you know, any of those kind of outdoorsy stuff. Um, they're going to be very expensive either way. Um, but yeah, this little guy was over $26 and my sister said it would not have been worth it. But to me, it doesn't matter because it's Pichu and he's <laughs> a little sibling, a little brother to me. <laughs> he's very, very cute and keeps me company. All right, uh, pull out this one. This is my Pichu Jack's specific figure. This one I got yesterday. Excuse me on that. Um, I had a little mishap with this, but it doesn't seem like it's that bad anymore. Um, oh, it's still kind of there. It's in the back, back here, right here, where my finger is. It is a little sticky. But there was a piece of tape on it. This was not that expensive. I think it was around $12 to $13, I believe. I know. For all this Peach and Puzzle Mine and stuff, for as small as they are, it's quite expensive. Yeah, I know. I was thinking the same thing. Um, I find it weird that their heads do twist, and that's the same for the Puzzle of Mine and Jack specific figures. So... I'm still baffled about the puzzle Jack specific figure, but this one, um, I don't, this one actually took the shortest time to get here. I ordered this one on the 13th, or no, the 23rd. I actually only ordered this thing four days ago. Um, and it shipped out on the next day, and it got here on the 26th, which was yesterday. So it only took three days. One day for shipping, two for delivery. This came from Oak Creek, Wisconsin, which it's the closest destination uh, to me as far as location-wise go goes and delivery-wise. So you can see it looks like there's a little black marking about the eye eyebrow or the eye. I'm thinking maybe that was like some form of eyebrow or it's just some indentation or... It, it's faded off a bit, and whoever had this must have uh, misused it a little bit. Um, but I'm very happy that I finally got my hands on one of these, because this was one item I definitely was thinking about getting for a long time. Well, really, until I started liking Pichu. But, you know, like, it's so cool, and he's winking. I, st I, I need to get a female Pichu at some point. That'll wait. That that can wait. I need more money first. I don't want to blow all my money again and because I haven't been able to work. So I want to get more hours and, and money in So before I go ahead and buy anything else. There's a lot of other things, you know, like there's a Pichu phone charger. There's a Pichu poster that comes in a picture frame. There's a... Um, there is Pichu clothing, as I mentioned just a little bit ago. Um... The little phone chargers that you plug in. There's a Pichu one of that. There's multiple Pichu plushes. There's multiple of these. There's so many different items that you can get from this. And I pretty much dumped $18 into something that I thought was a mistake. Because now that I look at it, that's how it's supposed to. I dumped eighteen dollars for another. I am so great at using money. Well, I mean that. I mean I'm absolutely atrocious. I'm only good at it when it comes with a wallet. But um, 
yeah, um, I'm just glad I got my hands on one of these because my, a couple of my friends know a lot about Jack specific figures and, you know, them getting into it, I might have wanted to try something. Um, but yeah, just a little two Jack specific figure. I'm going to order more Pichu stuff, don't worry, so I expect a lot more Pichu stuff to come, but I don't want to overcrowd my room enough to where that I'm clueless as to where I need to put it. Um, but, yeah, he's pretty cute, I love his little wink, he's the only one item that I have that actually winks, except the Plaza one. Um, but yeah, he's, um, pretty cute, not gonna lie. Pichu is always cute, what am I talking about? Uh, and Melee and Ultimate, he's just as cute. Except, except Melee, when he hurts himself, he starts crying, but he's happy. <laughs> His eyes water up, but he's, not, he's uh, smiling for some odd reason, which I find it funny, but at the same time, it's pretty sad. But uh, yeah, here's a much closer look. This is my second time again, just showing it again. Very, very cool. And this one can actually stand, unlike Puzzle and Minot. And my final one. One that I actually got today as well. My final Pichu plush. This one is made of different materials. Um, and the other one. Tail kind of feels a little funny. Um, I don't have a lot to complain about this one. I'm just not used to this kind of material for a plush. I know my Sonic plush feels exactly the same way as this one does. Um, the ears are a little flappy. Like, they go down a lot or go backward a lot. Like, yeah, here, here's an example. This ear is facing downwards while this one's facing upwards. I have to forcefully move this ear upwards so it can line up straight. Um... I don't remember what material this is even made of. Uh, polyester fiber and foam. So it's unlike the other two Pichu plushes that I got sitting right there. But um, this one came today. This one... Where did this one come from? Come on, I got this one today. Oh, and I don't remember where it came from. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Myrtle Beach. Yeah, Myrtle Beach. This was the one that I got from Myrtle Beach, uh, South Carolina. So, you got this Jack specific figure that I got from Wisconsin. This minifigure from Florida. Puzzle and Minin, both of these. Well, the Puzzle one came from Cincinnati, Ohio. The Minin one came from... It's in the same. This Pichu plush I bought, bought here in town, and that Pichu plush I bought in from uh, Florida. So, the Pichu minifigure and this Pichu plush came from the same place. But this one did come from Myrtle Beach, and I told my mom, you know, I guess Pichu likes uh, oceanic-based kind of cities, or cities close by the ocean. Um, because Oak Creek sits next to Green Bay, Myrtle Beach sits next to an ocean, Montclair, since close to L.A., which is close to an ocean. This comes from Myrtle Beach, which sits next to an ocean. Miami, of course. Um, Cincinnati. Cincinnati kind of is close to Kentucky, I believe, as well. Um, it's kind of on the border of Ohio and Kentucky. Uh, and the minor one came from Tennessee, so it's not anywhere near any bodies of water. But... Um, I will have more stuff, but just I'm not ordering anything else. Um, so I guess I'm going to have two puzzles and two minins. Wonderful. I just dumped $18 for ooh, something that I just finally figured out. And not to mention any YouTube video recording um, for that. Um... Yeah, I'm going to have to let somebody know about that. I could get my money back. Um, I could cancel the order. Or I could go on to the dollar auction and sell it from there. But I, I figured it out. 
Well, you can't to ha have too many peaches and puzzles and minings as well. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I I love all three of them. There will be a time where I think I'll sleep with all three of them, like just because, just to make me feel safe, protected, comforted, you know, relaxed. Just I I feel good, like. I feel a lot of positivity, positive energy around my Pichus. As I say that about puzzle. Positive, because it's puzzle. And it's plus. I'm tired of making ridiculous jokes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this one, very cool. This one, I don't remember how much it was. I think it was... Um... I think it was around twelve dollars, ten to twelve dollars, I believe. I don't exactly remember. I got rid of all the order notifications because they're already all here, right here, of course. So there's no point in me keeping the order uh, deliveries and stuff because they're all already all here. Um, but yeah, uh, that's. Other than that, that is pretty much. All my new items. I ordered all of these items except that Peach Plush because, like I said, I bought that one with cash at a community event. Excuse me there. Other than that, that is pretty much everything that I have to offer. I've been wanting to, I've been waiting to make this video. I actually have had it planned for a bit uh, ever since I started ordering things. I will not be ordering any more stuff until I get more money. But this sweater is something that I'm going to purchase with my own money. Um, but I hope I'll have more money by then. I don't remember how much I'm sitting at right now, but it's not a lot, so I need to do a little thing called saving. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my new stuff, so now you guys got to see them all. Uh, I probably won't be featuring them again anytime soon, but this was kind of a once-in-a-lifetime deal for me to show you guys what I've been doing with my money. I've been buying Pokemon stuff. Literally the only thing that I have been buying. I made all these orders within like a week. So you can imagine I was pretty busy with keeping up to date on the order date. Uh, shippings and deliveries. But anyway, if you guys uh, did enjoy this video, please be sure to burn up the like button. Just try that subscribe button. Speed through that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. Follow me until it gets knees. Check out any of the YouTube videos I playlist. Check out both of our and Sonic Central. The YouTube links are in the description as always. And if you guys are new to this channel, be sure to you said. Helps a lot. I always appreciate the support and feedback. Uh, I've been getting some new subscribers. I'm at 145. Woohoo. Um, but other than that, nothing too much exciting has happened. But um, that's pretty much all I got. So. Please be sure to do everything I just said. It does help out a lot. And if you guys want me to keep... If you guys want to keep update more, uh, just follow me on Twitter because that's where you're going to find all this stuff. And I'll usually... I usually been keep, I keep good updates on social media. But anyway, um, with that, this is Great Sensing. Catch you guys soon.